All right, everybody, how are we? What is going on? And welcome back to the final video of this post competition prep series. Today's video, I'm going to talk about subs, supplements. Um, I competed as a natural, a natural bodybuilder. I wouldn't say I'm an actual bodybuilder, but I competed naturally. That means no performance enhancing drugs. You talk to some people and you say you're natural and they ask you, well, did you take protein powder? You know, obviously they're trying to make a joke, they're trying to take the piss, and usually someone will say, well, yes, I do take protein powder, and I do take creatine, and I do take a pre-workout, and I do take aminos, and all that shit. And then, the, the, you know, the, the, the spiteful person will come back and say, well, you're not natural. Okay. All right, mate. Well, I'm going to say drug-free. So yes, I competed as a drug-free bodybuilder. Today's video, I'm going to talk about what supplements I took. Well, there was none. I've been up and working till the morning, yeah. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me I can't. Do you need a protein powder to grow muscle? No. Do you need a protein powder to reach a certain amount of protein per day? We well, don't need it. Do you need amino acids to maintain your muscle whilst doing faster cardio? Well, you don't need it. Do you need a multivitamin? You don't need it. I mean, some may say you do need it, but if you're taking in a lot of wholesome, good foods, I believe you can probably get away with it. Do you need a pre-workout? Look, I'm a massive uh, caffeine consumer, but I didn't use a specific pre-workout. I used coffee instead. So look, I've gone through a lot of the, the basic supplements there that you know most natural bodybuilders would, would use. And I'm happy to say that for the majority of my prep, literally until the last four weeks, I did not use a single supplement, not one. And I was quite surprised because things like pre-workout, I, I use, you know, not only, well, not, not, not just for the effects, but also just as a as a bit of a motivating factor, you know, you, you, you get in your, you get in your pre-workout routine, you make up your pre-workout drink, and uh, you smash it back and you go and, go and smash a workout effectively. This time I didn't. This time, let's go through, let's go through the supplements I named. Okay, so multivitamins. I didn't take a multivitamin, I probably could have, I probably should have, but I didn't. So, the fact is, is I saved money and, and I didn't take it. I feel like I got a decent amount of nutrition through my food which is what we'll go on to next. So protein powders. Did I take a protein powder? No, I didn't. Not one the entire time. Now, there were times when I was dieting that I wanted a protein powder so I could mix it with something to make a sweet protein snack. But I still didn't do it, and that's dumb. That is really dumb on my part. I probably should have had a protein powder for those last few weeks um, to, to have a, a chocolatey or you know, caramel flavored snack or whatever that's not gonna include a huge amount of carbs or, or fats. And I can tell you that a nice tasting protein powder when you are dieting tastes like dessert. It really does. So I, I kind of, um, I don't know, I fucked up on that one, I, I feel. So no protein powders, but the only reason I'd have a protein powder would be to, you know, yes, have a sweet snack at the end of the night, but also allow me to reach a certain amount of protein per day a bit easier. You know, like a protein shake versus a chicken breast as a post-workout meal, I don't know which one's going to be better. I chose the chicken, be chicken breast during this prep. So, no protein powders, no multivitamins, uh, pre-workout. We mentioned it previously. The main ingredient I'm looking for in a pre-workout is caffeine. All right? I'm a caffeine addict. I love my caffeine. This time, I decided to not spend the money on a pre-workout, and I decided to just have coffee. So, I would have two, three shots of coffee before I went to the gym, and it works a charm. The one thing that I will mention, the one thing I, I missed at certain times, is a pump supplement. So if I'm going to have a pre-workout, I'm going to want not only caffeine, but I'm going to want some sort of pump supplement. So whether that's glycerol, or whether that's citrulline malate, or a mixture of the two, um, that's what I'm looking for. And that's something I did miss. You know, certainly on days when you're low carb, you don't have a pump, something to just help you feel a bit more volume in your muscle um, would help. 
So moving forward, I probably will get a pre-workout. Might not be a, it might not be a, a stimulant-based pre-workout, but it certainly will have some sort of pump supplement. The only other supplement I've ever used, and I've had experience with, is an amino acid powder. So usually I'd go for um, optimum nutrition, amino energy, which includes both amino acids and caffeine. Um, but this time, so the one supplement I did get, and the one supplement I used for the last four weeks, and I've continued to use it because it tastes amazing, and it lasts forever, is some aminos. So I've decided to go with my old favorite from Cyvation, Extend. And, um, or maybe the brand's called Extend now. Nutribolt. No, Cyvation. Okay. Cyvation Extend is uh, a, a BCA powder. They've got electrolytes in there now. Um, I would say go for the grape flavor. It is absolutely delicious. And literally, I bought this two months ago, and it's still got plenty in there. So when people ask me how much was it, and I tell them it's $90, they pretty much have a fit. But then I say, well, it's 90 servings, and a liter of water, you're only going to have one serving at the very most. So that's 90 liters of, you know, aminos that taste amazing. So certainly was a price I was willing to pay, and it was the only supplement I used. So as a natural bodybuilder, as a drug-free bodybuilder, I really did do it naturally. And um, I guess this video is just to talk about it, which is what I always do on this channel. Whatever I'm doing in life, whatever my opinions are, I will bring them to this channel. Hopefully not fucking off anyone too much, but at the end of the day, you can't please them all. The longer I'm on YouTube, guys, the more I realize that you simply can't win them all. You can't please everybody. And those that will love you will love you. And those that will hate you will hate you. All you've got to do is be yourself. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.